Hey everybody, it's Jake from Wild Academy and welcome back. Today I'm going to be covering arrays in a little bit more depth. Now if you recall from earlier, we could create an array that could hold a number of items and then we could call those items by, you know, by the index number as before. So let's just go ahead and I'll just create one real quick like so we'll do an array name and we'll set it equal to I'm going to use the old syntax here and we'll do array and we'll set it equal to let's just do some names. So actually let's just do what we have been doing using the what the book's been doing so winter summer ugh, summer and we'll do fall here all right so now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna print or what we're gonna do is instead of printing this array out or a particular item what we're gonna do is we're gonna print the whole array out and get some data back from it so let's do print underscore r and what that does is that will return a human readable version of it so print underscore r and then we'll do the array name let's save that file and i need to I've been jumping around all over the place where i'm putting my php files um there we go We'll do uh, arrays. Okay, and now we're going to run it. Yep. So as I pull this up, what you'll see is that array, which is the value type, is printed out. So array, and then it gives each individual item, so winter, summer, fall and its index number so zero one two so if any time you want to check to see where a particular item is at you can do the print r function there now the reason we're using print r is because we're going to be doing a few things in following and for the remainder of this tutorial we're going to need to see what, exactly what's going on so let's come back into the book and we've covered everything on this page so now what i'm going to do is just go to the next page and i'm going to show you how to add a item to an array that's already been created so if we come back in here like we've done in the book, we could just do flavors. We're going to set it equal to an array. We'll use the square brackets this time. And we'll do, uh, I don't know what the flavors were, so we're just going to do whatever we call it here. So let's do chocolate, vanilla, I like changing it up a little bit so it's not exactly like the book. Uh, chocolate and vanilla, and let's just keep that for now. All right, so let's print R this. We'll do flavors here. I'm gonna come up here and just knock these out so they don't get in our way. We'll save it and then we'll run it. If I come down here, pull it up. We have this single array with the chocolate and vanilla in it. So if we wanted to add a new flavor to this, what we could do is come up right here. You're going to type flavors. And you're going to do square brackets right there. An equal sign. And then we're just going to add a new item. So what's typically the other item? Strawberry, that's right. Berry. Berry. Now we'll hit save. And we'll run it. You'll see that chocolate, vanilla, and now strawberry has been added. So that is how you could add to the array. You gotta have the two square brackets here, and then you put in the new item that you want. But what if you wanted to add more than just one item? What you could do is you could use the array push method. So you won't be surprised that in order to push items into array, the keyword is array push. Then you'll use your parentheses here, and we need to first target the array, so flavors is the first argument you make. And then after that, put a comma there, and then you can put your individual items. So we'll do chocolate, vanilla, caramel, caramel, I hope that's right. And then let's see, let's do butterscotch. And come out of here. Butterscotch. 
And finally, just close it. Go ahead and save that and run that. Well, you'll see that on line seven, I have an error. If I come up here, I forgot the S on flavors. So hit save and rerun that. There we go. So now we have our array, chocolate, vanilla, strawberry, caramel, and butterscotch. Now you'll notice that when we added butterscotch and ca and caramel, 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 wherever you are internationally, um, you'll notice that they were added to the end of the array. Suppose we wanted to add a item to the front of the array. Instead of array push, what we would do is, well, first I'm going to move this down. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to use array unshift. So array unshift and we're going to target flavors again. This time we're not going to forget the S and we're just going to add in lemon. I'll save that now. I'll run that and you'll see that lemon was added to the front right there. First item in the array. But you know what? I've decided I actually don't want butterscotch in our array. But rather than removing it, what I'm just going to do is I'm going to use the keyword array pop. And that's going to pop the last item of our array off. Again, target the array you want. And that's all you need to do because you are just targeting that array. And it'll just, as I said, it'll just pop the last one off. Then we can save it, run it. You'll see butterscotch has been removed nothing against butterscotch lovers. In fact, because we're on a budget, we can't even really offer lemon as a choice. So let's come back in and let's use array shift. And what that'll do is that'll pop, well, I don't want to use the word pop, but that'll take the first flavors. Why does that look funny? Yeah. That'll remove the first item of the array. And hit save, run it, you'll see that lemon is now gone as well. What we want to do now is create a second array and then merge the first flavors array with the new array that we're going to create. So we'll do more flavors here. Come on, G, get out of my way. More flavors equal to array. And we'll do coconut. Coconut, put the lime in the coconut. The second array, or the second item in the array will be cherry. Semicolon that bad boy right there. And then we're going to create a final array because that'll be the combination of both these arrays. We'll call it all flavors. There we go. We're going to use the keyword uh, array merge. And that's the method that is going to combine these two. Then we'll target each individual array here. So we'll do flavors since it's listed first. And then we will do more flavors. And finally, we can come down here. We want to change this variable to target all flavors here. Now save it. Now run it. If I pull this up right there, shrink this again, you'll see that we have all of the items in the array. Chocolate, vanilla, strawberry, caramel. That was the original array. Flavors. And then these two items that are in this more flavors array were now added. All flavors is equal to the combination of both of these two. I'll just pull this up full screen so you can see the program in its entirety. If you need to pause the video, you can. Okay, so the last method I'm going to show you today is the sort method. So we'll do sort, and we're just going to target our all flavors array. And what this will do is return uh, the array in alphabetical order. Save there, run it. Now you'll see previously caramel was not at the beginning, but now it is because, and I used too many C's here, I can't really, but you know, the second letter is A, obviously, so that's alphabetically should be first. It should be before chocolate and coconut, right? 
and then S is obviously after C and V is obviously after S. So that did a alphabetical sort for us. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. It's a really good primer for the next tutorial. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do like the video. If you have any questions, please leave those in the comments and I or anybody else will answer them. Again, my name is Jake from Wild Academy. Thanks for watching and see you soon.